I'll just have the goat, I'll take it home. Right, Harry, he's nicking the goat. See you later. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Nice hat. Thank you. I like the summer vibes. Welcome back from the holiday. Enjoy yesterday? I loved it. I thought I was going to be a lot redder than I am, and I've got away with it. I can't believe it. You know there's different tiers of being burned? Like someone reacting to you going, oh, you've caught the sun, and then there's, oh, you look red, and then there's, you actually feel red. I felt red. A really successful day, actually. Really enjoyed it. Aaron's at Sandy Black & Decker this morning, and I've been coming up with some creatives for a big pitch that we're doing Thursday. Yeah, what was that? Trying to align everyone just on the yeah, idea? Yeah, trying to get people focused on actually what the idea is. I think people can get really lost in creative. And I'm not a massively creative guy. I kind of know what works on social and what doesn't. But I think some people, it's quite difficult to really focus in on an idea and understand exactly what a brief means and what it's trying to get across. And it's always something that Aaron, Nick and I as a team have been very good at. Aaron pushing against me, client versus delivery, and then Nick being able to articulate that argument. Being able to boil that all the way back down to a room full of 10 people trying to come up with an idea and trying to articulate it is, is very difficult. So yeah, it's good. I think we've got a clear idea. It's right in our wheelhouse. It's for the Champions League, so Ooh. that's great. We will put together something really, really compelling and I think very different to what else they're expecting. Is that going out this week? Yeah, so we'll send that off for first draft Thursday. Top level ideas. I think our idea is pretty strong. So we're with Stanley Black & Decker this morning in Slough, which was great. But yeah, they've got some really exciting stuff here. So we're doing some work with Autism Speaks, sending children and families from that spectrum to experience all the potential job opportunities they have. There's so much more than power tools as well. In the iPhone, 60 of the components in it, and I'm sure there's thousands in it, 60 of those components are Stanley Black & Decker components. They do a lot of the oil and gas pipelines, the actual technology around it to check the leaks and things like that. A lot of the automatic doors that open and things like that are from them. We all actually use their product in our daily lives a hell of a lot more than any of us realize. So they're a truly innovative tech company, but I'm sure lots of people think they're a power tool company that's for builders. And while they are that, they're a lot more as well. How is Bloom um, going? It's good. Bloom is, is having a lot of fun over here. We've got really good content going out this week. It's really showcasing results. So again, like our first set of stories were introducing the product to their followers. And then the second go round is- Call to action. Exactly. Gotcha. So we're getting good stuff. Let's see if we can find one person. Boom. All right, now look here. Do you see this? I see some. Do you see this? I see some blemishes. Look at that. Game changer, baby. You can get this as well. Your skin can be this glowy also. <laughs> do you want dewy skin? I sure do. Use the code MIA, get 20% off. Bloom is great. Everything has been fine. We're just keeping it going. This week wraps up the posts and uh, we're gonna have fun. Good this app is. <laughs> what is it? Is it the face app? Have you seen these people being old people? Um, so can you just talk me through it? Well, it's this face app thing and everyone's going nuts for it. The this is one of our influencers that have done it, Paula Lima. He works on like Amazon, oh, Major League Baseball. My God. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's like you kind of have to do it if you're an influencer Every now. Major everyone's going to be expecting them, right? Have you done yours? Mm -hmm. You've got the personality of an old man. What? Do you want to see how bad mine is? I don't know what it's done to my nose. <laughs> <gasps> how many years is it like, does it say it's making it you a certain say, age? It just says old. Yeah. I look like my dad if he had white hair. Oh, you look absolutely adorable. I'd help you cross the street. Silver fuck me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But look how young and youthful I look in real life. You look like Albert Einstein. I just had a meeting with these people from an official partner. They've just tweeted this. And he's currently probably looking at it on his phone laughing. <laughs> You're up on Twitter. Have you seen? With the guys that, <laughs> that just came in? Yeah. She looks quite good though. I'm not sure what age she's there. Unfortunately, I think he's 45. <laughs> this has been a very hard couple of years. What does it say? <laughs> what, did, what did they tweet? Wanna feel better? Here's Aaron Shepard of the Go Agency in a few years' time. Bye, old Aaron Shepard. I should speak a bit louder now, shouldn't I? Are you okay? Yeah, why? Now, do you have a medical emergency? Because there is a doctor in the house. Oh, I've heard. Are you okay? Are you sure? You seem to be limping. Uh, do you want to get checked over? Um, I think I'm all right. All right. I need to find out the doctor's out of the park. So he's setting up a ploy so that I'm here as bait so he can then chase Alex. We really need the toilet. You do not have time for a toilet break if you wanted to catch Dr. Alex. Are you ready? <laughs> Hi, I'm Harry. Nice to meet you. 
Hi, Simon. 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 Hi